Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I will do a video on how I treat dandruff. I have some products here. They work great if you have dandruff. So make sure to watch the whole video. If you have dry scalp, the color of your dandruff, those flakes will be white and they will be smaller in size. If you have oily scalp, the color of those flakes will be more on the yellow side and those flakes will be larger in size. I have oily scalp. In my experience using a oil, it makes things worse. Your scalp is already oily, you have dandruff, and then you're using more oil, it just makes things worse. If you have dry scalp, maybe using your favorite oil can help, but I don't use oils when I experience dandruff. These are the ingredients that I use and they help a lot. First shampoo I have here is Salson Blue. I saw my parents using this shampoo growing up. This is what I used always to treat dandruff. This has 1% selenium sulfide. It is an anti-dandruff ingredient. The right way of using this shampoo is, this is not like other shampoos. You don't use this shampoo daily unless your doctor recommended you to use it daily. My scalp is oily and I have the oily scalp version here. The other version with yellow cap, that one is for dry scalp. If you have dry scalp, purchase that one. If you have oily scalp, purchase this one. This is how I use it. Whenever I experience dandruff, I use it two times a week. Two times a week is enough. I won't recommend you to use it more than that because this can be really drying on your hair. So I use it two times a week. I leave it on my scalp for three to five minutes and then I rinse it with water. Leave it on your scalp for three to five minutes. Give selenium sulfide some time to work and then rinse it with water. But make sure you leave it on your scalp for three to five minutes. Use this shampoo two times a week and this work great for dandruff. If you can't find Salsan Blue in your country, then you can try Head and Shoulder. Head and Shoulder have this ingredient named Zinc Pyrithion. Zinc pyrethion is an anti-dandruff ingredient. You can use head and shoulder as your daily shampoo, but if you're going to use head and shoulder to treat dandruff, the right way of using this shampoo is leaving it on your scalp for three to five minutes, two times a week. Leave it on your scalp for three to five minutes. Give zinc pyrethion some time to work. If you use head and shoulder as your daily shampoo, then you don't need to leave it on your scalp for three to five minutes. But if you're going to use this to treat dandruff, then leave it on your scalp for three to five minutes. And this works great for dandruff. Now, if you have dandruff and acne on your scalp, then you need salicylic acid. There are a lot of salicylic acid shampoos in the market. This one I use, this has 3% salicylic acid. I don't know how to pronounce this brand name, MG217. I think that's the brand name. But yeah, this is the one I use. Salicylic acid is oil soluble. Not only it exfoliates the top layer of your skin and help with dandruff, but it penetrates deep into your pores and it exfoliates your pores from inside and help with acne bacteria. It basically clean your follicles. So if you have dandruff and acne, go with salicylic acid. This works great. I love using salicylic acid on my scalp. I also use it on my face. Love salicylic acid. So yeah, if you have dandruff, you can try zinc pyrethion shampoos or you can try selenium sulfide shampoos. And if you have acne and dandruff, then go with salicylic acid. This will work great for you. Okay, after using these products, you got rid of your dandruff, but I will recommend you to keep using these products, these ingredients, because your dandruff will come back again. So I will recommend you to keep using them. You don't have to use them very frequently now. Just use them once a week or maybe once every two weeks. You don't have to use it very regularly now, but I will recommend you to continue using these ingredients because dandruff always come back. So yeah, continue to use these. I really hope this video will help somebody. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I will try my best to reply to everyone. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.